Do not read. Do not read these books. These books. Now, before we start, I just want you all to know that every book that I'm about to show you is 100% real. These are actual books. You can find them on Amazon or check them out at your local library. Right. They are real. All right, let's see what's on my do not read list. The first one is a cookbook. Oh, good. I love cookbooks, yeah. They're you love, perfect you for love the holidays. As much as this is Microwave Cooking on a Diet. <laughs> I guess that's the classic loose taco meat chocolate pudding diet. Oh. I didn't realize you could microwave pudding. But uh, no, they got some things here. It's like meat and potatoes right there. Yeah, that's good. Actually, what's it? Tongue stew? Oh. And s sweet and sour tongue. Well, I see why it's a diet book, because you never want to eat anything in this book. <laughs> You'll lose weight. It makes sense. You'll lose weight. Can't taste it. The next, next one is a how to book. Oh, I love how to books. Me too. They're the best. This is always helpful. This is How to Be a Drug Dealer <laughs> by 673126. <laughs> and below it says, Note author's pen name. I love this author. Yeah, six, seven, three. When I think yeah. of literary greats, yeah. I think of Hemingway, I think Faulkner, and of course, six, seven, three, one, two, six, <laughs> man. It's just the classics. I'm gonna be a drug dealer. Uh, next up is another how-to book here. Uh, this is The Complete Idiot's Guide to Teaching College. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Quick, I need a book. It's definitely not what you want to see on your professor's bookshelf. No. If my, uh, my professor had this on his bookshelf, I'd drop out and uh, become a drug dealer. Oh, 673. <laughs> Mr. 126. An idiot's Guide to Teaching College. <laughs> oh, man. This next book is, is great. Uh, this one is called 88 Reasons Why the Rapture Will Be in 1988. Spoiler alert! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Oh, this is a great. Uh, uh, this is a romance novel. Oh, I love, love romance. I love romance and I love novels. Love both together. This is great. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. Probably, it is called uh, How to Catch Crabs. Oh! And it is apparently. <laughs> it is about a, a fisherman yeah. that falls in love. Sure. Yeah. Didn't you, didn't, you, didn't you write a book, How to Catch Crabs? Yes, I did. It's about yeah. my spring break to Cancun. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. The, uh, how to Catch Crabs, I snugged up with them. This is that tale of, look in the back, a tale of crabs, cricket bats, and catching your heart's desire in jazz age Western Australia. <laughs> that's a very specific yeah. niche when I think audience. Of jazz age. You, you have to love crabs, cricket, <laughs> yeah. jazz. And you have to live in Western Australia. Yeah. Very relatable book. I like it. But don't read it. We're down to our last one. Oh. And I don't know, even know what category this falls in, but this is it's totally real. It is, what if you are a horse in human form? <laughs> so it's a guy who thinks that he's a horse trapped in a human body. Really? Yeah. Hey. Uh, he says, uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Over the years, I have communicated with and met several horses in human form. As far as I know, I'm the only one who has ever revealed himself publicly. <laughs> I hope that this book will encourage others to come out of the stall. stall. I'm just <laughs> glad that he had the courage to use his real name, Jason the Horse. <laughs> That's all I have for this edition of my Do Not Read list. If you have a book that you think should be on our next Do Not Read list, I would love to see it. Send your titles to our blog at do not read at tonightshow.com.